Hello and welcome to Warwick Clinical Skills. Today we are going to be looking at examination of the hip. Just to be aware that different medical schools may teach this examination slightly differently, um, and please bear that in mind. But with that in mind, here we go, the hip. Hello, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to do uh, an assessment of your hips today. Before I uh, start, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yes, it's just pre call 8973. Superb, thank you. In terms of this, this is going to involve me having a look around you, seeing if I can see any abnormalities to your hips, getting you to walk and then getting you to uh, lie on the bed so I can have an assessment with your legs. That's going to involve pressing around your hips and also getting you to do some movements. Is that okay? Yes. So to start off, I'm just going to ask you to stand there, relax, and I'm going to look around you, um, having a look at your sides, your legs and things like that. So I can't see any obvious wasting there in terms of alignment. So you um, seem to be standing straight, your shoulders are in alignment, your hips are in alignment, and I can't see any significant issues here. So if I could just get you to walk forwards for me. And come back please. Excellent. So we've got no abnormalities of gait there. That's good. So I'm just going to put my hands on your hips, if that's okay. Yes, that's fine. So just come in. So just finding the bones. Okay. If you could raise this leg up for me. And back down. Thank you. And then raise this leg up for me. Okay. And back down. Super. So your pelvis stayed stable throughout. Excellent. If I can uh, ask you to climb up on the examination couch. Okay. So, thank you for climbing up onto the bed. So, I'm just having another look at your hips. Obviously, we've got um, your um, uh, tights on, so we can't see any obvious scars around the hips because we can't view them, but your um, uh, heels are in the same uh, location and I can't see any obvious uh, tremors or general imbalances here. Just going to check for uh, temperature, and that feels fine. We'll do the temperature over the hips themselves. Obviously, again, it would be better if we could get to the bare skin, but we're not going to ask you to move your leggings. Um, I'm now just going to uh, press around to see if I can see if there's any pain at all. So is there any discomfort at the moment? No. So I'm just going to press around the issue tube rosters. Is there any pain or tenderness here? No. And I'm going to press in at the greater decanter on the left. Any discomfort here? No. And on the greater decanter on the right. Any discomfort there? No. Super. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually measure um, the length of your legs. So if you'd be kind enough to pull your shirt up for me. So going from the umbilicus all the way down to the medial malleolus is 94 centimetres. And then going from the ischial tuberosity to the medial malleolus is 84. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side, from the medial malleolus to the opposite, from the um, umbilicus to the opposite medial malleolus. And again, showing 94, and the issue of tuberosity, again to the medial malleolus, showing 84 centimetres. So we know that your legs are equal in length. What I'd like to do uh, now, I'd like to do some movements. So if you want to cover yourself up, please. So I'm going to put my hand under your back, and if you could take this knee up to your chin, please. And back down. And I'm going to do the same to the opposite side. If you could take this knee up to your chin, please and back down. So with both uh, uh, legs as we did that, the leg that wasn't moving stayed down on the bed so we know there's no issues with a fixed flexion deformity. So I'm going to ask you to do some movements now. So I will do the movements to your legs once you've done them yourself. So if you could raise this leg up as high as you can for me and back down and then raise this leg up as high as you can and back down. Thank you. So if you can take this leg all the way out to the side for me and then come all the way back across and back to centre. And then this leg all the way across the side and all the way out to the opposite. Super, and back to centre. And I'm going to ask you to lie on your front, please. And I'm going to ask you to uh, lift this leg up as high as you can. Super, that's fine. And again, the same on this side, please. Thank you. Whilst you're lying there, I'm going to start doing the active movements. So I'm going to get you to Lift your leg as well, that's fine. And again on this side, 
Okay, so we've got reasonable extension. If you could lie on your front, please. And I'm going to re repeat those movements that you've just done. So taking, uh, pressing onto the hip, coming out to the side, and all the way back over. And then again, pressing to the hip, coming across, and all the way back out. Thank you. So I'm going to lift the leg up, and back down. And then lifting the leg up and back down. So everything's moving nice and smoothly there. I'm just going to do an initial test where I'm going to pick the leg up and I'm going to try and move the inside of the hip. So we're turning in and out. Any pain with that? No. Fantastic. We're going to do the same again here, turning in and out. Any problems with that? No. Fantastic. So um, I can't see any obvious abnormalities to the hip, but I'm going to do a couple of, uh, just a simple extra test looking at this, um, uh, the sciatic nerve. So let's raise this leg all the way up, and I'm just going to put some force on the foot. Any problems there? No. And any pain in the back? No. Thank you. I'm going to do the same again on the side, all the way up, and then back down. Any pain in the back with that? No. Fantastic, thank you. So as we finished a look at the hip, I haven't found any problems. To complete the examination, we could look at doing uh, the assessment of your lumbar spine and also looking at the joint below, that's your knee. Uh, do you have any questions for myself? No, I don't. Super, thank you very much.